Kate here, and I'm going to show you how to make a coconut hut for your hermit crabs. The first thing I did was take off the netting around, from around the coconut. So I've done that already. And then, what you're going to do after that is you're going to take a hammer and you're going to hit the coconut right on the line that the seller has already cut. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Actually, what you should first do is take your knife and the little holes, you can open them up right like that. You take your knife, stick it in like that. Um, sometimes you have to mess around until you find the right one. But the tops should just pop off. And one of them will go all the way through the coconut. And then you'll know you're through when you hear a hissing sound. And then what you want to do is take a sharp object like in this case I'm going to use the saw on my pocket knife and you stick it in and you go all the way around to open the hole up and then what you're going to want to do is dump out the coconut juice into a glass I guess if you want to drink it um, you can also put this straight up to your mouth and drink it but I personally don't really like it that much so I'm just going to go ahead and dump it over in the grass Okay, so now I've dumped out all of the coconut juice, and that's an option. You don't have to do that if you don't want a hole in the top of your coconut hut, but I don't mind. So I just dump it out, and then it doesn't go everywhere and you crack it open. So the next thing you do is you're going to take your hammer, and you're going to hit it right on that line that has already been cut, um, or scored into the coconut. And it should break pretty easily, but sometimes it takes a few minutes. So you just hit it like that. Um, this time it didn't break all the way through, so I'm going to go ahead and hit it again until it breaks apart. And then what you're left with are the two halves of the coconut. So the next thing you're going to want to do after you crack the coconut is you're going to want to get the coconut meat out and put it in a bowl. So you can use a knife for this. It's a little bit harder, I think, um, just because the blade is really thick on this one. And this is the thinnest knife we got. You're also going to want a short blade if you don't want like a really long steak knife or anything. Um, so I have the two halves of the coconut. I actually broke some out already because my parents wanted some. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get all the coconut out. What you're going to want to do is take your knife and go along the back. And you don't want to be in the white part. You want to go all the way to the brown and see how it loosens up there. So then what you do is you just stick your knife down as far as you can and pull towards you pretty much. And then it pops right out. So see you want to go on the outside of this brown. And then you're left with this part. Okay, so then when you get to this point, you can't really get your knife underneath it. It's really hard, and you just get tiny pieces like this. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to take your knife and cut a line from the center back. And you can even go all the way across if you'd like. And then you just want to break it up into a couple pieces. Next, you go all the way to the bottom way to the shell um, and that just loosens it up and then so I'm gonna here I'm gonna cut it into four pieces and then what I do is I take my knife and you bring it say like right to the middle and then you just twist and usually it gets the edge up and then you can run your knife along um, and then if it doesn't work then you just come again and turn it and then it pops right out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that for the rest of it. So 
So there you have it, the cleaned out top. So now we're gonna go ahead and do the bottom. You wanna do it the same way you did the top. So find a place to start and then just start going along. Sometimes you can get giant pieces, sometimes you can only get little pieces. You just have to keep working at it until you get the whole. So there you have it, two cleaned out halves of a coconut. Okay guys, so the last thing that you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and you're going to saw a door into the coconut. Um, as you can see, it's not quite level, so what I like to do is saw a door in the side that has more room. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, I use my pocket knife because that's just easier for me but of course you can use a regular saw I don't know it just doesn't work for me but I'm gonna go ahead and saw a door Okay, so now I've cut on the two sides of the doorway, and you want to make sure you cut up high enough so that your largest crab can fit in, or not. I mean, however big the crab is you want to fit in here, cut the door that big. I don't really care who goes in here, so I'm going to cut the door uh, big enough for my largest crab. But, so it's about that. About like that. And then, for the piece across here, you can't really turn your saw in here. It's not like an electric saw. So what I do is I score it along the top here. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And if you want, you can um, saw all the way through. But I find that's a lot of work when you could just go like this and the doorway pops out. That's what I do. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Um, a lot of times, my mom won't let me buy things from the pet store because she says, you know, they don't need that. So I guess this is the way I found around um, her saying no. Because, uh, you know, you can be like, hey, I want to eat some coconut. Can I get a coconut? Um, so that's what I do. And my family really likes the coconut, so they eat it too. But anyway. There you have your hut. Bye.